Hola, mi amigos. Uh, welcome to your next tutorial. What we're going to do in today's tutorial is actually get our platforms animated, cycling through our sprite sheet like we want, and, you know, not have something like this. And as you can see, I'm obviously going to get the high score on this game. So, uh, that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial. Uh, let's jump into it. We're going to go right to our platform class, and we are going to scroll down to this draw image. We're quite familiar with this draw image method. Uh, where we just take our image, the X and Y position, and the image observer that we want to draw to, and there we go. I mean, pff, easy peasy, right? Um, but there's also other ways to draw images, um, such as if we wanted to scale image, there's no way we could scale image you know, with this uh, draw image method. But uh, we want to use a different draw image method, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And so we're going to pick the first option, Probably should have showed you guys that. So uh, we're just going to pick this first option. Uh, no color background, as you can see, on the second option. Um, but just there should be, what, four, eight, ten parameters. Um, again, the first parameter is just going to be our image. So we're going to say plat. And our observer is, again, going to be the pictures.sp. All right, so let's talk about uh, what these four or eight uh, parameters mean. First, let's talk about these first four. So this is where we want to draw um, or how we want to draw the, the image on our applet itself. So this is applet information. Uh, the position of the X and Y, uh, these D1 or DX1 and DX, DY1, um, that's going to be like the top left corner of the image where we want to draw that on our applet. So what we're going to say is our X value and for this second one we want to say our Y value and then what these two parameters mean is the bottom left, or I'm sorry, the bottom right corner of where we want this image to end. So we're going to say our x position plus the width, and uh, you know that's the width that we want. So 120 pixels away from the current x position is how wide our image is going to be drawn on our applet. And then the same thing for our, you know, our y value. So we're going to say y plus uh, height. So 40 pixels down from wherever our current y value is. So that's how that works. Um, and just to show you guys an example, what we're going to do is we're going to use some scaling or we're going to try and scale the image to be you know, twice the width of what it normally would be. So we could just say a two times um, you know, width here and a two times height. So now what it's doing is it's referring to the xy position and then it's going to take a 120 times 2, so 240, and that's how wide it's, or that's how far right it's going to be from our image. Get that, and also for the down value. And you'll see this when we run it, if that's kind of confusing. But uh, anyways, next four coordinates is where we want to cut out on our sprite sheet. So we're going to open up our platform PNG, and this is, uh, you know, our sprite sheet. And so the first two coordinates is, again, our... Um, top left corner so we're gonna say 0 0 and then we're gonna try and cut out just this first image so that point would be 120 and 40 um, so that's the position that we're gonna cut out so we're just gonna say 0 0 and then 120 and 40 so now let's comment out uh, this this draw image here save this run it and as you can see, we have some huge platforms, twice the you know twice the width and twice the height. Um, there won't be any collision detection on you know this half, but that's kind of how that works. So we can scale images pretty easily uh, with this method. So let's take at least times two, or two times I should say. Um, and also another cool thing I don't know if you guys don't have the x and y values. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Um, kind of 3D. I don't know. Maybe I think things are cool that really are just stupid. So, anyways, just I'd suggest playing around with the images and uh, you know, this draw image function. See how it works. Pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Um, but you know, we're just gonna have our x y. So that's cool. The next thing that we want to do is we want to be able to cycle through all three of these images. 